Hello, today I would like to present uh, a little lesson on how to play a shuffle with some ghost notes in it. Um, I've been listening to some Steely Dan, I'm going a bit grey, getting old, and uh, been enjoying songs, particularly stuff like Reeling in the Years, so I'm going to demonstrate how to play the kind of groove you'll hear in the chorus of that song. Um, and we're going to play a standard shuffle with a snare back beat on the two and four, and we're going to add some ghost notes on the middle of the first triplet and uh, the middle of the second triplet. So on the one and ah, uh, and the two and ah, uh, on the and of both of those. And the groove that you're going to learn how to play sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to be playing these two ghost notes. Um, the first one is on the and in the middle of the first triplet on the one. One and a. Uh. And the second ghost note is immediately after the backbeat, which would be on the snare, on the two and, right? Two and a. Uh. So the ghost notes all together are one and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, one and a, uh, two and a. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, once you can do that, you can count up all the way up to four. The, the three and the four are the same. So um, let's look at how the hands are working. When I'm playing the first ghost note, I've got to use an upstroke because I'm preparing my hand to play the accented backbeat on the two. So my hand's going to start low to the snare. I'm going to pull the stick up like this and then throw it down for the two. Okay, and we won't worry about the, the second ghost note after the snare drum. Uh, backbeat just yet. So it's going to be like this. One and a two. Just practice that a few times. One and a two. One and a two. I'm doing quite a big movement with my hand when you're playing. Uh, it depends on how loud you need to play as how big that movement needs to be, but just to make it really clear. One and a two. One and a two. Okay, so that's how to play the first of the ghost notes on the middle of the first triplet on the one and up. Uh, the next ghost note is immediately after the, the snare backbeat, as I said, and uh, this is kind of a, a tricky little uh, thing to do. You want to throw the stick down, you know, I'm using a kind of whipping motion, also known as a molar stroke, um, and I'm going to catch the stick and just let it drop again to the snare so it's in the middle of the triplet, like this. I'm, I'm using my pinky and my ring finger to control the stick there. And again, it's a little move that needs practice if you're not used to doing it. Uh, go and learn all that James Brown stuff and you'll, you'll get loads of practice doing that. And do that loads of times until you can pretty much let the ghost note just fall without doing any work. You're just controlling it again a little bit with these back fingers. Okay, so we're now gonna put that all together and I'm just gonna play uh, my hands. We're not gonna worry about what the bass drum is doing just yet. So uh, all together we have one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Okay, and you really notice how I'm using that upstroke to prepare my hand for the snare backbeat on the two and four and again the ghost note that comes immediately afterwards um, I'm just you know uh, controlling the stick as little as possible and doing as little work as I can with that okay now um, once you've got the hang of that even you can work it up to the, the speed of a song you want to play And again, the faster you go, the smaller this whole range of movement gets. Okay, now, um, adding the bass drum, we're just going to play the bass on the uh, one and the uh, R of the triplet. Um, and it sounds like this. Now, 
once you've got the hang of that, um, I would recommend you learn how to play a bunch of different bass drum patterns and you can start improvising with using the ghost note. Um, you know, again, if you listen to Reading in the Ears, you'll hear the ghost note uh, happens all the way uh, throughout the groove, but you can use it to uh, embellish your shuffles as well. So I'll give a bit of an example of you know, bringing the ghost note in and out. And that's it, that's how to play a ghost note uh, shuffle, uh, again a la Million in the Ears by Steely Dan, um, and I'm going to be doing a sheet of uh, stuff that you'll be able to download and practice a load of variations on that. Thank you very much and goodbye.